The temple incorporates an archetypal or natural geometry that lies behind all of life. This geometry is the result of a mysterious number pattern that occurs throughout nature, known to the modern world as the Fibonacci series. The invisible voice of life shows itself in the material world through an interplay of numbers and form. These primal archetypal forms are the template and seeds of life. The sacred geometry expressed in the Fibonacci series allows us to clearly see this invisible other world that is the mysterious source of life. To better understand the role of the Fibonacci series and organic geometry in the world around us, we met with Michael Schneider, author of A Beginner's Guide to Constructing the Universe. Michael demonstrates the dynamic presence of the Fibonacci sequence in the living, growing world. Well, the Fibonacci numbers refers to a sequence of numbers that grow by continual expansion, but a very special, balanced growth expansion and the mathematical definition of them really is an archetypal pattern starts off with the numbers zero and one zero sort of acts like a seed in a sense zero and one and the rule is that each next term is the sum of the two previous terms so zero plus one make one one plus one make two one plus two make three two and three make five three and five make eight 13, 21, 34, 55, 89, 144, 233, and endless. But it's an expansive pattern that shows organic growth patterns that occur all through nature. The invisible Fibonacci spiral shows itself in the visible world in the nautilus shell, the sunflower, and the branching of trees. This mathematical sequence charts nature's progress of organic spiraling growth through self-accumulation. The appearance of this sequence, embodied by the Fibonacci spiral or golden spiral in plants, animals, or solar systems, tells us that the Fibonacci sequence and phi ratio underlie an internal harmony, excellence, and dynamic balance during the inevitable growth and dissolution processes. It is the play of life itself, clothed in the four states of matter. These characteristics are the open secret of balance of animal homes, seashells, plants, and galaxies. For example, as the chambered nautilus creature grows larger, the gland that exudes shell material also grows, building a widening shell. The shell's golden spiral shape maintains the same center of gravity at any size, so the nautilus need not learn how to balance itself as it matures. The same is true for the growing horns of a ram. As the horn material accumulates, growing larger and more massive, its golden spiral shape maintains the same center of gravity. Thus, the ram need not adjust its posture throughout life to uphold its growing horns. Similarly, the tree that puts out branches and leaves and spiral staircases up and around their respective trunks can get enormously large, yet the tree always balances, no matter how massive and complex it grows to be. And so any kind of organic expansion will benefit from this kind of growth that incorporates balance, physical balance, uh, it will pack the most seeds in the least space. Um, and whenever you find these Fibonacci numbers, you also find spirals. And the benefit of the spiral is, of course, organic, expansive growth in a, in, in a kind of a fashion that will also maximize uh, all the benefits of the seed properties and so forth. The way they show up in the uh, plant world, the plant world is rife with these numbers. Uh, for example, in this artichoke flower, I will simply, let's see, I'll draw a, uh, a mark so we know where we started on this. And I'll count this row of petals as one row. And what I'm gonna do is count the numbers of parallel rows of petals. So there's one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
and then back to the beginning. So there are eight rows leaning in this direction. But each pedal plays a role in two directions. So I can also think of these as spiraling this way. And if I count the numbers of parallel rows here, if we'll count that as one, two, three, four, five, and back to the beginning. So there are eight in this direction, five in that direction. That's what you find throughout nature. Two consecutive Fibonacci numbers uh, composing the same structure. And what this does, what this number pattern does, is it gives perfect balance to the structure as it's growing. Not as a static structure, but these Fibonacci numbers and the spiral, the logarithmic organic spiral that occurs with them, uh, balances through growth, transformation, expansion. And that's the beauty of this. It's balanced through growth and change through these numbers. It's an organic expansion from that, you might say, zero seed to as large as you like, but it's always going to have a self-resembling property. It's the closest, the, the, the logarithmic spiral is the closest definition you can get to a definition of life. Have you ever noticed the many religious tributes there are to the pine cone? They are seen all over throughout history, spanning from ancient civilizations to modern day religion and spiritualism. But what makes the pine cone so special? The courtyard at the Vatican has a giant statue of a pine cone. The staff of the Pope also has a pine cone on it. There are also a lot of decorations inside the Vatican that depict the pine cone. The pine cone is found in many ancient works of art, even here in an ancient Roman bronze statue shows the thumb with a pine cone on it. The pine cone is shown in early Mesopotamian and Egyptian hieroglyphics. Ancient Buddhist architecture and art closely mimic the pine cone. Buddha is even shown to have hair shaped like a pine cone. Here, the goddess Shiva has her hair worn in the shape of a pine cone. The Greek god Dionysus has a pine cone on his staff. The same is true for Bacchus, the Greek god of drunkenness and revelry.